hello friends in this video i will explain you how you can uh, design nand gate nor gate and xor gate uh, using transistors okay so so let's start so first of all i will explain about nand gate then after nor gate and then xor gate so as already shown in the beginning the circuit uh, diagram of uh, nand gate for that two transistors are required and the transistor type is given in the circuit 2 and double two double two okay so here uh, these two transistors i will use okay so here uh, this is a uh, two and double two double two so the details of this one already mentioned in the beginning okay so here I'm going to insert here this is the first transistor okay and uh, then after this is second transistor so two transistors I'm using okay then after you can see there in the circuit diagram so two inputs uh, means a base base of this transistor connected to 10 kilo ohm resistor okay so according to the pin diagram of uh, this uh, transistor as already shown in the beginning that is it is a, a 2n 2n double two double two transistor now you can see here uh, you can get the pin description of this now you can see here if you face uh, the plane surface of uh, this transistor towards you where numbers are uh, written some digits and numbers then the left one it is going to be the emitter the right uh, side it is going to be collector and the middle one is the base okay and so this is it so that pin diagram I'm going to use <coughs> so 10 kilo ohm we have to connect to bases so, so you can see these are two 10 kilo ohm resistors which I'm going to connect to the base through which I will give uh, input signal okay so now you can see I am connecting to the base of these two transistors so first connected then in the same way I can connect to the second one second one it is also you know what basic clear then after what you have to do you have to uh, give input to the bases okay and one more thing first of all connect resistor then after uh, input and output uh, we will uh, make connection now one 4.7 kilo ohm resistor it is connected to the collector okay collector of the first transistor so uh, as already shown that uh, the rightmost it is the collector so collector of the first transistor so this is the collector of the first transistor okay so connected here and then after inserted here clear so that is it and then after what you have to do two inputs you have to give so inputs are I will give from uh, this terminal so these terminals are used for giving inputs so you can watch my other videos in which I have already explained about this uh, trainer kit in detail now, the name of this trainer kit is uh, UIC kit or here it is digital electronics trainer kit this is so so here there the name it is UIC kit okay so name it is in the name of that I have made already the video so now two inputs so this is the first input which I am giving from uh, here so now you can see this is the first input 
and the second input I am giving to, to the base of the second transistor through 10 kilo ohm resistor so 10 kilo ohm resistor here and then given to the second input okay so here the third one I am using so then after uh, 4.7 kilo ohm is connected to plus 5 volt now you can see here uh, already plus 5 volt from here I can take and ground I can take from here okay so for taking ground I am going to use a uh, black wire so now you can see I am connecting ground here so connecting ground here it means these all holes are going to be ground now ground clear then after plus 5 volt so plus 5 volt I'm going to connect to the second this is plus 5 volt okay connecting here that is it then next what I, what we have to do we have to connect plus 5 volt to 4.7 kilo ohm resistor so this is plus 5 volt we have to connect to uh, 4.7 kilo ohm so this is 4.7 kilo ohm resistor which is connected to the collector of the first transistor that's connected okay then after emitter of the first is connected to the collector of the second so emitter of the first so emitter of the first emitter of the first meaning this is the first terminal and the collector of the second so collector means the right uh, terminal of the second transistor connected in the circuit here it is over and uh, one more thing means the emitter of the second we have to connect to ground so for connecting ground I am going to use this black wire so this is the emitter of the second transistor it is going to connect to ground connected to the ground so means circuit here over so one more thing we have to know we have to take output so output from where we have to take output we have to take from uh, that is uh, collector of the first collector of the first transistor so this is the collector of the first transistor here I am connecting and this red wire I am using to take output so this red wire I am going to use to this connect to this LED so that uh, output we can see ok let me do this yes circuit it is over now we have to verify the truth table as I already mentioned in the beginning the truth table of uh, NAND gate also so NAND gate meaning when 0 0 so when 0 0 so 0 0 means output it will be 1 so first we are going to turn on this uh, trainer kit ok first uh, connect here then turn on this uh, trainer kit now you can see when 0 0 when 0 0 output is 1 the LED is glowing ok I think it is visible now you can see this LED is glowing or if it is not visible then in the second one here it will be visible ok LED is glowing when 0 0 when 0 1 then yet LED is glowing when 1 0 then yet LED is glowing only when both 1 1 ok only when both 1 now here you see what is the meaning of 1 here hold on here it is not working properly now here I am going to connect ok so when uh, 0 1 and when now only in case of both 1 1 LED will not glow so right now 0 0 glowing so again uh, you can see so 1 0 
not here again glowing when 1 1 then LED is not glowing it means the truth table of AND gate is verified now oh, we have I'm going to explain about the second gate that is NOR gate okay so for explaining the NOR gate I'm going to remove the first turn of this okay so <coughs> remove these uh, wires okay and then LEDs also so only two things now here plus 5 volt connected here ground here so now two inputs are here given to these two in case of NOR gate also two transistors are used so these two are transistors and inputs are given through 10 kilo ohm resistor so these are uh, two 10 kilo ohm resistor which are connected to the basis of these two transistors okay and then uh, the, these uh, two gray wires are used to give inputs okay and then you can see that uh, emitter so emitter of both transistor uh, connected with each other and then that is connected to the ground okay you can see here so emitter of these two transistors connected and then both connected to ground so that's what I'm going to do so emitter of both transistor it means the left terminal of both transistor so here this is the emitter of the first transistor this is the emitter of the second transistor both connected and then that is going to connect to ground so then now you can see here I am connecting the common emitter of both uh, transistor to ground so emitter part it is over then next uh, what is the collector collector of both are common so we have to connect collector of both transistors okay so this is the collector of the first transistor the right terminal and this is the collector of the second transistor the right terminal of the second transistor okay and then that is going to connect to plus 5 volt plus 5 volt uh, we have to connect so this is plus 5 volt okay that what I'm going to connect to here this is plus 5 volt and this is collector collector of uh, both transistor connected to plus 5 volt and output uh, you can see we have to take from the collector of the first transistor so collector of the first transistor so this is the collector of the first transistor from here I am going to take output and I'm here you can see I'm connecting to this LED to see what is output okay then uh, <coughs> next step what it is so turn on this trainer kit when I turn on so when first of all both 0 0 so when 0 0 so this is NOR gate so 0 0 means output 0 0 so according to the truth table uh, output it is going to be what it is going to be 1 means I uh, as already shown in the beginning the output it is going to be 1 so that's why we have 1 when 0 1 so 0 and 1 then output is okay hold on that it is somewhere okay we have to make connection this is that is loose connection okay there one thing I left 4.7 kilo ohm resistor I did not connect so that's why output it was not coming so first of all turn off so now connect uh, this 4.7 kilo ohm resistor here in the collector of the sorry collector of the first uh, transistor I think that is hmm. collector of the first transistor so here you can see I am connecting here 4.7 kilo ohm to the collector of the first transistor connected and then uh, in means plus 5 volt is given to that there so now plus 5 volt is connected to the collector of the first transistor through 4.7 kilo ohm resistor as you can see here uh, 4.7 kilo now you can see here so this uh, 4.7 kilo I forgot to connect so that's why output not coming so now circuit it is uh, okay so now both 0 0 so now you can see according to the truth table of uh, NOR gate so this is a truth table of NOR gate means when both 0 0 then only output 1 otherwise output 0 so now 0 0 both so output here you can see 1 
and uh, for all other values so 1 0 output is 0 1 1 output is 0 0 1 output is 0 only when both 0 0 output will be 1 so this is about nor get okay so in the same way we can uh, design XOR gate also now you can see here with the circuit diagram logics uh, diagram so here not gate I have already explained how to design so by using transistor so you can design or uh, not get by using a transistor then and gate to and gate you can make by using a transistor and one or gate because these all I have already explained so what you will have to according to that so output of this one is according to this circuit you have to uh, make connection and then you will get the logic XOR in the output okay so here what you have to do so output of the first or not gate you have to connect to the input of the first and gate okay and uh, then here you can see uh, b means directly b we have to connect to and okay in then uh, output of the second not gate we have to connect to the input of the second uh, and gate okay and a we have to connect here then output of these two and gate so we have to give to or gate and then the output of this or gate will give us you know uh, a bar b plus a b bar so so plus means or operation then that is xor okay so in this way we can design xor also so thank you all for watching